What up, y'all? Appreciate you showing up, hanging out, listening to my dumb ass, like and subscribe. So, first, I want to shout out much respect, props, and all that good stuff to all the commenters in the in the comments. Uh, X Station, uh, Kara. Carla, sorry, Carla, <laughs> Massa, all you people, but specifically X Station, because he he put in he put in a novel, and I was like, yo, I gotta read it, you know. I, I read all the comments, and I read it, and I appreciate taking you taking the time and and uh, speaking your mind and stuff, and also, you know, staying respectful. That's what that's what we need to do. Uh, we all have different opinions, and that's fine, you know. And I say donkey unicorn, and I say pony. And most of most of you guys in the comments are not that. You know, I don't think X Station is that. I don't think you are either. Um, but you know, once again, I appreciate you uh, coming through and leaving that super dope. Many many comments, very long. It's like like I said, it's a novel, <laughs> but it was cool though. But um, a couple of things I wanted to say about it. Uh, I mean, for for as far as the what is Xbox done, what is PlayStation done, we go back and forth forever. Uh, I think everyone has contributed to the video game space in their own way differently. They're not the same, obviously. That's why they still, they two, the two entities, Xbox and PlayStation, that's why they still exist in the space. If one was doing something better than the other, then the other one would probably go away, basically. Um, and that's what actually kind of happened with Xbox this generation where, or it st started last generation where they had to diversify and change what they were doing because Sony was doing this, which is selling consoles and that's their business to sell consoles. Xbox was like, well, we need to make money a different way. And then Game Pass came around, blah, 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 services and everything else. And so whatever. So there are two different companies doing two different things, just like Nintendo's doing their own thing. And uh, whatever is clever. Bottom line is that I would never like disrespect or whatever a gamer, a true gamer. You know, if you're gonna be a troll and you're just gonna blah, 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 and just talk shit just cause that's what you like to do. That's a little different, like the true pony donkey unicorns. But if you're a gamer, you just happen to like PlayStation over Sega or Nintendo or Xbox, it's fine because we all, you know, bottom line, it's all about the games really, you know? It's all about having fun and enjoying and, and getting into the escapism and such. But anyway, like I said, I just wanted to say that at the top of the video, you know, thank you. I appreciate the comments and, and just keep them coming. Keep up coming because I'm always going to read them. I'm always going to give you a like, even though you're saying something like, oh, you got a big head and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, thank you because you took the time to say I got a big head. It's not that big. Is it? Anyway, <laughs> um, I wanted to talk about Phil Spencer interview. <sighs> Specifically, all these ponies and doggy unicorns on Twitter who are literally like, oh, Xbox is going their body, they're going their body, ah, Tim Stewart said this, blah, blah. And then uh, Phil was like, nah, that's not happening, guy. And I know you gotta listen to Tim because he's the CFO and that's where the money is, you gotta listen. I was like, nah, that's not how it works. <laughs> it's so dumb. I was like, wow. And dude, Porter Rock is, he keeps doing, he keeps like, they got nothing to talk about on play. They got nothing to play, nothing to talk about. I was about to put in a comment like, yo, why don't you go just play Spider-Man for the seventh, ninth, ninth time? Cause why are you talking about Xbox? I thought you were a pony. I thought you were Lieutenant Pony, Sergeant Pony, whatever. But he's not, he's just, he just, look at what they said. Look at what this person said. And I'm like, look, Every day I'm looking at Twitter and I'm like, what what is the what is the ridiculousness that this fool is gonna talk about now? What is he gonna say? And I look at it and it's nothing about PlayStation because obviously there's nothing going on over at the PlayStation. They just like whatever, you know, Spider-Man 2 was good, I guess. <laughs> Y'all still play? No, you're not playing it no more. Uh, we got stuff coming, some exclusive somethings are coming, maybe. Um, who knows? But you know, and and Phil, I mean, Phil, he said a lot of things in that interview and he talked about the future roadmap and how 
it is important to let the customers and their fan base know about their roadmap, their plans, because it gets them excited about it. And it's, hey, all right, I guess I'm gonna get the next Xbox because I see a roadmap and I want to travel down the road. What's, what's Sony doing? <laughs> Yo, Sony has, Sony has messed up so much this generation. It's like they squandered, they had a lead. And they literally tripped up on the last straightaway they tripped up or they dropped the baton when they were handing the baton from PS4 to PS5. They said, bloop, bleep, bloop, bloop. And now look where they at. And I'm like, and going back to X Station's comments about you should talk about Xbox stuff and blah, blah, blah. And why are you talking about PlayStation? The reason why I talk about PlayStation is because PlayStation for years has been dogging on Xbox. And, and it's not PlayStation themselves. Well, it kind of is a little bit on PlayStation, but it's mainly about the ponies and ducky unicorns. That's why I always address them. But that's why I do it. I kind of have part of the mentality of, of Dirt Griggity. And he's like, yo, I don't like no ponies, donkey, unicorn. I don't like, he calls them ponies. I just call them donkey unicorns. And I don't want no ponies. I don't want no ponies in the chat. He got he got pony snipers in his in his chat, sniping ponies out, out when he's doing a show. I'm like, look, that's all good. But I, I will say that Anyone could come in as long as you're not toxic, as long as you're respectful. You know what I'm saying? You could, you know, we're all adults. Some of us don't act like adults, but I'm just saying. So, you know, let's just enjoy this. We can have friendly debates and we could be friends and still like other two, you know, two different things. And that's the cool thing about, you know, enjoying video games as a whole. You know, I didn't start off as an Xbox fan. I started off as a Sega fan. And, you know, you know, the evolution happened. Anyway, back to the Phil. So, you know, Porter Rock's doing all this stuff about the, you know, Tim Stewart said this. Oh, they're going to go third party. Xbox is going third party. And I'm like, first of all, Tim is talking about talking to the investors. He's like, yo, we're trying to diversify. We want our stuff on anything. And I'm looking at I'm like, I mean, they're kind of doing that already. Right. And actually, if you want to be real about it and if you want to use your brain for a second, there, I believe there are two people who have this, the final say in what goes exclusive or what goes third party. And that is Phil Spencer and that is Satya Nadella. No one else. Even though Sarah Bond is the new queen of Xbox, she still has to talk to Phil because Phil is the end all be all. He's the, he's, he is Microsoft game boss. And Sarah is the Xbox queen. So that's how I understand it. Now, maybe Sarah does have some say, of course, but the final decision is not hers. You know, you got it. Let's be real. It is Phil Spencer. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is. But anyway, regardless, it is not Tim Stewart. It is not the CFO. Okay? It's not it's not that it's not that person. So, you know, you, you look at just that where, where people are misconstruing how the corporate structure works and who has authority to do whatever. Fine. You, you put that aside. Like, okay, whatever. They're, they're wrong. So let's keep it moving. But, you know, Phil said, no, we're not putting Game Pass. We have no plans to put Game Pass on PlayStation or Nintendo. The reason why he said that is because PlayStation and Nintendo do not want Game Pass on their systems because they know it would undermine their own ecosystems and everybody would jump on Game Pass and, and it would just blow, it would be the Netflix. You know, I mean, it already is the Netflix of gaming, but it would be like solidified and nobody could catch them, basically. And I think that's happening already because PlayStation is just not willing to play ball. They don't want to do what, the, what needs to be done to be in the same situation that, so, that uh, Xbox is, uh, is in. And Another thing is I, I don't understand how Sony is still in the same mode. You know, maybe it's the, maybe it's the leadership. Maybe it comes down to the old men who were not coders. I don't know anyone on, on the, the PlayStation or the Sony side as far as the CFO that's taken. I think it was the CFO that's taken over. Sony CFO that's taking over for PlayStation right now. Interim. I don't know what he did. He ever code or anything? I mean, it's, you know, chief financial officers usually don't come from, you know, software engineering backgrounds usually. But, you know, you never know. 
Uh, maybe I should do some research and see if they are. But what I see on the Sony side, bleeding down to PlayStation, is really just about them. How do they make money? Now, yes, this is a business. All these companies are that way. But there is something to be said about the leadership who has a vision that is consumer facing and consumer driven as opposed to profits driven. And Sony, this generation has all has been all about profits. And there's a problem with that when it affects the consumer experience. And I don't know what y'all are talking about or looking at, but I think that the consumer experience on PlayStation has diminished greatly this generation. I mean, not, not the fact that there are literally no games coming out for PlayStation for the foreseeable future and no, the uh, what, what's coming out? The, the Last of Us remix <laughs> that's coming out. I think it's coming out in January. That, Last of Us part. No, that doesn't count. Remakes don't count. I mean, you give a little bit of credit to Capcom because they actually do remakes really good. They like actually do. A, they like do a remake. It's like, oh, this is like a different game, kind of, sort of, but not really. But it feels like a different game, but it's kind of not. So it's like I give them, I'll give them a, a pass. I give them a hall pass. But but Sony don't do that. Sony Sony go. He they take the game. They take the game and they go put it in and like, okay, tighten up the graphics on level four. Let's go and ship it. And that's all they do. And they they they, they click the button for high resolution. That's all they do. <laughs> I was messing around, but I'm just saying they do minimal work to try to get maximum profit, which is a fine business model. But when the customers see that's what you're doing, I see it and I'm a customer, a future customer, a potential future customer. But I see what you're doing. And I'm like, why would I buy that? I could just watch it on YouTube and get all the story. And I'm looking at the gameplay. I'm like, is the gameplay all that? Mm, not really. You know, it's a great game, sure. But what makes it great, the best part of those games are the story and the cinematics and, and the acting. And at this, that point, I'm like, okay, so this is like a bad movie at this point because video game movies, and I'm referring to Sony's games, basically, they aren't good. A lot of them aren't good. If they were movies, like straight up movies, it would be bad. Now, I know y'all probably say, oh, but what The Last of Us, was a, a series and blah, blah, and that was good, right? I was like, okay, it was pretty good. And, and you know, I'll give Sony credit. The first Last of Us game was better than the second one, but they actually made the story better by adding characters, adding scenarios, <coughs> which didn't exist in the game. So by all accounts, the series is actually better than the game story wise. And that's where I always come back to movies and television shows are always better than the video game counterparts almost always i would say always i don't know if there's if there is an actual instance where a video game version of a movie or tv series is actually better than the original source movie tv series i'm not talking about books versus that that's a whole different but anyway a little bit of a tangent but i mean the bottom line is really not the bottom line but the 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 whole thing about all these ponies and donkey unicorns on x twitter whatever that are they have nothing to talk about and they're trying to take anything from you know what tim stewart says or you know blah, 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 trying to twist it trying to do anything i'm like where's all the sony news what are y'all talking about oh y'all don't want to talk about the fact that sony is literally taking the discovery digital content that you bought i reported on this before they they, they alluded to it they are deleting it from your playstation how the hell how, how, how is that even, why isn't there like a contention of donkey unicorns and ponies hipping and hawing and bucking around and throwing off the rider because of this news? Why aren't PlayStation fans furious at Sony about this? Why aren't they like, yo, this sucks. I'm not buying nothing on PlayStation ever again. Cause if this happens, if it happens now, how, how do I know if I got all my Paramount movies, what? And then it goes away. What's going to happen then? You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, why are they not? They're not saying it. They're silent. They're like, oh, bad news. Let's look the other way. I'm like, y'all idiots. Because guess what? They're going to keep treating you like trash. You like the trash box? You like the trash station. 
that's what you that's what you like. You know, you like you make fun of trash box. Oh, just a trash box, blah, blah blah, right? But look what Sony's doing. Sony is treating you like trash, and you know that that's what y'all want, obviously, because you're not saying nothing. You're just being quiet, just keeping quiet, and just like boop, nothing's wrong over here. Nope, nothing's on fire. Meanwhile, you see the red, the fire, it's fire. But I don't get it, man. I don't get it. It's like, you know, how can you even be happy in that ecosystem when they're sitting there treating you like garbage, treating, treating you like less than anything that I can imagine. And, you know, you just say, oh, but the games are good. It's all right. I mean, you could play them on PC. If you have a little patience, it's not like you, it's an ongoing game or something. And even if it was an ongoing game, it's going to be on PC because they don't have enough PlayStation out there in wild and people don't buy them. That's what I was saying. X station. That's what I was talking about. Um, your boy Jim Ryan said before he left or before he was leaving or whatever before he said, yeah, you know, our game so 10 million if we're lucky, 20 million if we're really, really lucky. But that's not enough. There's hundreds of millions of players and we want them to play all our games. And so he wants 100 million people buying games. That's not gonna happen. That'll never happen on PlayStation because y'all don't buy the games that they make. You play Call of Duty, you play FIFA, you play Madden, that's it and that's all. It's like, oh, well, we got all these sales. I'm gonna say 33 million. I'm gonna give them a 33 million. That's what I'm gonna give them a, a they say 40, it's both 33 million. I'm gonna say they have 30 million. I'm going down. I'm there at 30 million. And they talking about we want 100 million. Man. And they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna sell 25 million this quarter, this by this year, at the end of the year. I'm like, what huh? They're, they're so far behind. They're not gonna sell 25 million for this this fiscal year. No, they're not. So we're gonna see that that story come out. Oops, we, we under projections of the blue blue. Oops. And then this stock's gonna go down even more. Dude, I'm look, look, I'm not making any of this up. I, this is what's happening. And S Sony is not making the right moves. And I don't, I don't know. They, it's, here's the thing, right? And the donkey unicorns and the ponies, one day we'll have to admit this. Maybe they won't, maybe they'll be in denial for the rest of their lives. But right now, Sony has to restructure. They have to switch, they have to about face, they have to adjust their strategy. The thing that Xbox has been doing since 2016, so when Phil got the job at 24, in 2014, that's when things changed. 10 years it took Xbox to get where they're at now. From, oh snap, Xbox might close to boom, Xbox is doing good, real good right now. And I know they say, oh, PlayStation is selling more consoles. Stop using that metric. You look foolish because it's not about how many consoles you sold. It's about profit. It's about your profit margins. And it's about profitability. Xbox is more profitable than PlayStation. Bottom line. When I say bottom line, that's what it is. Bottom line. And so the fact that they are more profitable while selling less consoles is all you need to know and all you need to understand about how PlayStation is running their business into the ground, non-profitable, not profitable, excuse me. <clears throat> and how Xbox is being smart about what they're doing, how they're spending their money, the acquisitions that they get. They got ABK and people are like 69 billion, that's a lot. How are they gonna recoup this? All these, all these idiots, all these ponies and dog universe, how are they gonna recoup all that money? Is it gonna take them forever? Blah, blah, blah. They already recouped the money. They don't need to recoup the money. And they're gonna be making so much money every month from that acquisition that it's it's an it was a no-brainer. It's like you invest, you gotta make money, you gotta make money, <laughs> you gotta spend money to make money. And they spent their money and they're gonna make so much money. And they're releasing even more stuff into the mobile market. Call of Duty's gonna make a gang, but look, Call of Duty selling on PlayStation like gang buses, the most played Call of Duty, blah blah blah, on PlayStation, blah blah blah. The most played game on PlayStation is Call of Duty and Xbox game. That's it, that's that's it, and that's all. Y'all lost the console war when they acquired it. And I, I remember Legend was talking about that. He's like, oh, man, if they acquire Activision Blizzard, it's over. I'm done. <laughs> and it happened. I haven't heard from him in a while. He hasn't been talking about uh, console war stuff for, you know, 
but it's all good. She's still, she's, good. she's still good people, so it's all good. If you want to jump in the comments, it's all good. But anyway, I appreciate your sharing. Like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about the interview. I know I just kind of dipped and dopped around the whole thing, but uh, I read, I read it, and uh, you know, it's a lot of the stuff. He's, it's, it's the same sentiment, and that's what I kind of like about Phil Spencer is that he remains, his message is the same, and his, his kind of mission statement and his motivations are the same. And they've never been, he's never like one to like, oh, well, wait, no, no, you know, he's being blunt. In it. And I think the trial kind of changed him a little bit. I think he's like, you know what, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to stop being Mr. Nice Guy and I'm just going to be a straightforward guy because he's like, you know what, no, we're not doing that. You know, he's not going to be like trying to, trying to save people's feelings like, oh, Tim was meaning it or try to explain it. He's like, no, it's not happening. No, we're not doing that. We got no plans for that. Sorry. You know, and how I read it is like, I think a lot of the ponies and Dr. Unicorns are just trying to twist the narrative and they misconstrue what Tim was saying in the context. It's all about context. And uh, they took the context wrong, basically. You know, they were listening to an investor kind of statement and they took it to apply it to consumers, which is it's not how it works. You know, Tim's going to talk about, yo, we trying to make this money and we're doing this and that and this. And he wasn't wrong, but it's about what games. You know what I'm saying? The games that are already there, maybe future games that are going to be games of service. Like, why would you, why would you just uh, trap that on one console, you know, on one place? You know, you could, you could put that everywhere and, you know, still make money. And even like the games that they acquire, if they're already on PlayStation, they're going to stay on PlayStation and they're still going to make that money, you know? So whatever. But anyway, appreciate y'all. And like I said, in the comment below, let me know. And once again, I appreciate y'all in the comments, the X Station, and everybody else. Boom, 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 preach. And I'll talk to y'all on the next one. To the wait.